speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Sarah Bender and I am a painter and sculptor. So primarily I'm an oil painter and I've been kind of delving into more ceramics and sculpture and mixed media in my work as well. Um, I really like the idea of installations and so as I've been evolving in the, the places that I show my work, I've been able to experiment more with installation in my work as well. So that's been a really fun thing to explore. But. Uh, Got the most experience, spent the most time delving into oils. <laughs> um, my subject matter is usually pulled from um, myself and my own personal experience, so it's, it's pretty autobiographical in that way. Um, usually an idea will kind of, something will pop into my head that interests me or that usually makes me laugh is the ones that stick to me the most and I'll kind of jot it down somewhere and come back to it. Um, or maybe there's a, a specific image that comes to mind first and it kind of sticks with me and, and ends up in a painting. I pull a lot of my images from my childhood. So you'll see a lot of self-portraits of me when I was a little kid sometimes. <laughs> um, or pieces of the house that I grew up in or wallpaper or memories that I've had or experiences. Um, and you may not know that looking at it, but um, there's a lot of kind of personal symbolism in a lot of the images that I draw from. Um, though I don't like to necessarily kind of give away what all the symbols are <laughs> because I like to think that a lot of my imagery is pretty relatable and nostalgic for anybody. So even though it's really personal to me, I like it to be personal for anybody too. So thinking about pulling a lot of my inspiration from my nostalgia and my own memories and everything like that, um, it also then kind of lends itself to being about a lot of my insecurities and <laughs> um, anxieties and things like that. Things that keep me up at night end up <laughs> in my work a lot of the times. But then I, I put some sort of like weird spin on it so that it's it's not directly about that. But there's I mean there's chickens everywhere, so you can't help but laugh at the chickens and. I think how ridiculous chickens are play a big factor in how ridiculous I feel sometimes <laughs> in the things that I do and the way that I feel. Um, and they're just, they're just silly and they make you laugh so it's a lot easier to deal with painful memories or troubling times if you can kind of make yourself laugh about it a little bit. Um, and a lot of that kind of plays into being a woman as well. So there's a lot of feminist themes in my work. I've pulled inspiration from the Gorilla Girls who are a feminist group of artists. Um, and just kind of all the struggles that come with being a woman and, and what that means and how you're supposed to act and what you're supposed to do and why do we care about what we're supposed to be doing anyway. <laughs> like Just be whatever it is that you're there you are. <laughs> so my intention when I'm making my art, I really, I just, I like to get people to relate to it in some way. And a lot of the way that I do that is through humor. And so that's another reason that the chicken thing keeps coming into it. I don't know, for some reason, they're just like the ultimate symbol of absurdity. <laughs> so I like to make people laugh. I like to pe make people reminisce and think like, oh, that reminds me of this time of my life or this place that I've been to. And I get that a lot when I talk to people about my art. They're, um, they tend to tell me stories about a relative that lived on a farm or grew up on a farm or raised chickens or loves chickens or, <laughs> or anything like that. And, and uh, so the imagery really tends to to kind of make people reminisce and I like that. From here I think my work is kind of evolving. Hopefully more, um, I want to try out more mixed media in my work. I've already kind of been playing around with drywall and ceramic sculpture and um, 
making things out of paper and sculpting paper and vines and doing installations. So I, I like playing with other media. I'd like to incorporate more mixed media into my work. Um, and as far as the subject matter, I would like to kind of start breaking away from the chickens a little bit because I know that I've become sort of known as the chicken lady and that's great that people remember me, but I think it might be time, I think it would be good to start um, maybe being a little bit more direct and stop hiding a little bit behind my little alter ego of the little red hen that I've created <laughs> and kind of start diving into uh, what these stories are that I'm telling without putting on that mask. Um, so a lot of my inspiration has always been kind of pulled from Norman Rockwell and that sort of like idealized happy home kind of feeling. Um, and then another, what Grant Wood has always kind of spoken to me. Um, and then Bo Bartlett actually has really been a huge impact with, on me lately. Um, I feel like he's like a kindred spirit or something. So style wise and the way that he portrays his subjects, it's kind of who I've been having on the mind lately.